Hi, I'm Lisa Canning from Lisa Canning Interiors, and we are due with baby number four any day now, and it's clear we are outgrowing our house. But I love my home, and I'm confident that with good design and strategic space planning, I can make it work for my urban family. In today's episode, I'm gonna take you through my kitchen and my living room. In the kitchen and living room, the major problem is storage. We simply don't have enough of it. So I've gotta increase the storage while making it look really sleek and really polished and giving our family the ample space that it really needs. Storage is also a big pain point for us. No matter what solution I have tried, the kids' toys get dumped all over the floor. So it would be awesome to keep the toys in a more organized fashion. And finally, our fireplace, which once was a very cozy feature, is now a broken mess. And it's where things kind of get dumped that we don't know where to put places. And let me introduce you to all the reasons why I hate my kitchen. Number one, I have no storage. Basically everything we use on a daily basis gets stored in this lovely cabinet, which is a mismatch of neon children's plastic, not matching glasses and our everyday stuff. Another major pain point in my kitchen is our lack of counter space. Yeah, there's not a lot of counter space here. And uh, for example, when I was just trying to make some pasta, I spent 10 minutes searching for a pot. It was right here. It was just buried. So <laughs> a little extra space would be wonderful. We're a disaster in this kitchen. Your contractor is your partner and collaborator in your renovation. Look for someone who is licensed, experienced, has great references, and demonstrates strategic problem-solving abilities. Oh, that's why this all has to go. I can't wait for this to go bang, bang, bang. And this, I can't wait for this to go away. This will be good. The scope of work for this particular project is very common in the city of Toronto. And the design aesthetic back then was many rooms and small rooms. People still had large families back then, but they really liked the small rooms. Now the design aesthetic is for a much more open space, hence the removal of the load-bearing walls and the expansion of the kitchen into the family room because the kitchen is the focal point of the house. That's where Lisa can keep an eye on all of her children at the same time. Embarking on a renovation is challenging. It can cause a ton of stress and anxiety. That's why it's so important to begin a project with detailed plans and to work with a team of proven experts. Also, expect the process to be an emotional one. I am all the time. I know it's crazy, a window is making me cry, but I have a window and it's so beautiful. See, even I'm a little embarrassed about that one. Remember, renovation is only temporary and your beautiful home will be permanent. It's hard work now that you'll get to enjoy for years. While the demolition is happening, use your time wisely. It's best to have all your finishes selected as early as possible so you can avoid disappointment and delays. I am here at my favorite upholstery to select the color scheme for my living room. The secret to successful color schemes is to start somewhere. So I'm gonna tie it all together with a little bit of this, a little contrast pattern with the wallpaper, a little bit of this, something organic. Such a great idea. And I always recommend sticking with the same sort of color and texture in order to tie it together. It's a beautiful velvet, and I bet with all of these colors, we can find a color to match exactly what you need. <gasps> Ooh la la. Oh, right? So we've got a cohesive, very harmonious palette here, ensuring that everything relates and is gonna be really successful in my house. I must admit, it is fairly ambitious to be tackling a major home renovation at nine months pregnant with three other kids who are under the age of four. So it is not you know, lost on me that we are getting into this with quite a few things on the go in our life. But this just sort of is how our family rolls. We're gonna take it and move and it's actually an ideal time because I'll have time to think about and devote to my own house. And it really just is about time that I focus on my own space and my own family's needs. It has been over a year since we began our renovation. We had a baby girl, and we are expecting baby number five. Our family has been through quite the journey, but we made it, and the results are spectacular.
I'm so happy with my home. I wanted the space to feel peaceful and subdued and minimal. Minimal in design details, even down to the faucet. So I did this using black. The black appliances and black cabinets all blend seamlessly into each other for a really cohesive look. But of course, I wanted it to be cozy and comfy for my family, so I layered in lots of textures to keep the design warm. It's so much brighter. Um, this area was two rooms before, and now it's you know it's wide open and it's huge windows, and uh, it's it just feels like it's vast in light. Renovating can be hard, but the results are so worth it when you can create a space that is beautiful for your family. A well-designed space can really transform your life. All you need are the blueprints. I'm Lisa Canning, and I'll see you next time on Canning Under Construction for styleathome.com.